गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे अगेन वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद अ रिवीजन सेशन इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैड अ रिवीजन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन वाई डू वी फॉल इल इन विच वी टुक फ्यू क्वेश्चन एज अ प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन सिमिलरली इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज टिश्यूज सो इन दिस सेशन ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस सो लेट इज बिगिन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर इज एक्सप्लेन हाउ कॉक्स आर फॉर्म्ड एंड वट इज देयर रोल चिल्ड्रन यू ऑल मस्ट हैव ऑब्जर्व कॉर्क ऑन द स्टेम ऑफ or the trunk of a huge tree the outer part when you go outside please observe this that in a huge huge trees that trunk is very hard in structure and it has that outer layer which comes out that is called as cork it is a dead part of plant please when you are going outside observe its texture as plants grow older a strip of secondary meristem replaces the epidermis of the stem cells cut on the outer side by this meristem are called cork they are protective in function for older stems twigs or branches and they are impervious to gases and water now the second question is explain the process of differentiation this differentiation process is very very important and it only demarcate um, meristematic tissues from permanent tissues and this differentiation process takes place in uh, plants as well as in animals also so let us see what we have to write in this questions answer the loss of ability to divide by key taking up a permanent shape size and function is called differentiation in the beginning of a cell the cell is undifferentiated means it is not uh, 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 it has not got a particular kind of shape size and function nothing is decided so that time that cell is called as undifferentiated cells as soon as it gets the ability that what kind of shape it has to take what kind of size it will be having what function it has to perform that time it will be a differentiated cell which has a particular task of doing something in the living organism so that is a difference between undifferentiated and differentiated cells undifferentiated cells are meristematic cells this question is why does growth of plant occur in specific regions only where are the following found the first one is intercalary meristem and the second one is lateral meristem so the answer to this question is plants possess a special tissues or meristem for growth it occurs at specific regions like apices or apical part nodal areas and sides it can be the apical apical part of a root it can be shoot apex also it can be nodal area from where node arises it can be lateral side of the plant accordingly growth occurs only in those areas where meristematic tissues or meristem is present the first intercalary meristem is above or below the nodal areas and at the base of leaves and the lateral meristem occurs on both sides lateral sides of root and stem now the next question is in which connective tissue matrix contains salts of calcium and phosphorus and the second question in this question only is which connective tissue is present in ear which connective tissue is pre- connects to bones which connective tissue is found in bone marrow very interesting questions are there so the first question's answer is bone bone is uh, a connective tissue in which salts of calcium and phosphorus are, are present then 
the connective tissue which is present in your ear and in your nose is cartilage and the connective tissue which connect two bones is ligament which is dense yellow fibrous connective tissue and the connective tissue which is found inside your bone marrow is areolar tissue next question is what is the chemical substance that makes the cells of sclerenchyma very hard mention where the tissue is likely to be present the first question's answer is lignin and the second question's answer is around the vascular bundles and hypodermis of monocot stem children you will be studying about monocot and dicot in higher classes you need so you need not to be worried about this question's answer uh, and it is present in the bundle caps hard coverings of seeds nuts and husk of coconut now the next question is list any two differences between the structure and location of striated and unstriated muscles this question can be formed in other uh, language also like differentiate between striated and non striated muscles or differentiate between striated and cardiac muscles like this way any muscles can be asked for differentiation so let us focus on to this particular question where the first point in striated muscles is focusing on the structure of that muscle that is they are cylindrical multinucleated with alternate light and dark bands which gives them appearance of striations in case of smooth muscles or unstriated muscles they are spindle shape uninucleate and without light and dark bands the location of striated muscle is mostly attached to bones and help in movement of the body whereas in case of unstriated or smooth muscles these muscles are present in dermis digestive tract blood vessels iris of eye urogenital tract reproductive system etc state one function of areolar tissue and cuboidal epithelium so the function of areolar tissue can be binding packing and covering of body organs besides providing materials for repair of injury in cuboidal epithelium stratified epithelium provides protection while simple one takes part in absorption excretion secretion <laughs> and forming a germinal layer next question is write the function of bones cartilage ligament and tendons so the answer to this question is bones forms supporting framework of body and protects vital organs like brain heart and lungs whereas in case of cartilages it provides support frictionless movement and flexibility to various parts of the body wherever it is present ligaments connect a bone to another bone and provides for movement at the joints and tendons are attached to muscles and it is a kind of attachment between bones and muscles which facilitates the movement of various body parts now the next question is quite lengthy so please focus more on to the questions language the question says a horse and a mango tree are both complex living organisms with specialized yet different tissue system to perform the basic life processes one is a tree and other one is a animal complex active animal so give the reasons for possessing different tissues to perform similar functions you have to give an idea about what type of tissues they have which are going to be similar in both of these so the answer to this question is support in mango which is fixed the supportive tissue is dead and requires little maintenance in horse the supportive tissue is organized to provide mobility in the body of horse so that is a basic difference growth mango has to discard older organs as it does not have an excretory system 
it therefore continues to grow throughout life with the help of meristematic tissues present in it horse has a excretory system it does not discard old structures therefore it stops growing after attaining maturity there can be multiple other answers to this question you will have to think logically while answering such type of questions now next question is list any two functions of epithelial tissues in human body so the function which is explained here is protection because that is the major function of epithelial tissues being surface layer epithelium protects the underlying structures from injury microbes toxins and desiccation whereas the second important function is exchange of various materials across it it takes part in exchange of gases in lungs between alveoli and blood capillaries and exchange of gases and materials in tissues between blood capillaries and tissue fluids thank you